You know, I was going to think about just battling a lot of the trainers all this rough. Honestly, I'm going to get to Adele Town as quickly as possible. I mean, I'll power you guys get in my way. Or, you know. Oh. You're forcing me to fight you! Oh, God, I do need cut. Well, I'm glad I still have it. Oh, try my trainer! Let's go! Just for fun! I'm going to murder you! Oh, God! That doesn't sound like fun! Again, it would be nice if you guys are actually lighthearted enough to do battle just for fun and not to actually take it super seriously to the point you guys want to actually win at all costs. That feels like something I would do. That is something I do. It's something I do all the time. I'm constantly like that. I want to beat everybody senselessly. I don't want you guys getting my way anymore. Just let me fight you into submission. That's all I hope for. Oh, Snubble. You know, I wasn't expecting to run into you, and I don't care for you. Move. <laughs> God, to see you makes me sick. Uh oh. Oh wow, I might actually hurt if I weren't, you know. Wow, oh, that did hurt. Never mind. I was saying, look, bugs resistant to dark. I'm an idiot. Bugs just super effective against dark. Oh well. Ha! Now I can easily win, unless I get hit with a Vex score. In which case, I'm probably gonna get paralyzed or freaking put to sleep. One of the two. Screw you anyway. Either way, welcome back, everybody, to... Oh, boys, fuck you. Welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Pokemon White version. This is your host, the MJ406. Huh? Is it already over? No, I want to see more Pokemon. Well, maybe you should actually get better so I can actually do that right. What? Use his moves? Use moves? When I see you and catch your eye, your heart beats a little faster, doesn't it? Not really. Oh. All right, fuck you, then. <laughs> this is going to make him feel bad. Doesn't make him feel like they're saying something this far. I'm just like, nah. Oh, uh, you didn't have to be a dick about it. <laughs> there you go. I forgot. You just use. You ignore your full heal and use one of your single use items. You're a jerk. Well, either way, why don't you cut again? That's more than so to get a max ether. Also, I do like the fact they have made HMs much less like prevail in these games. You more need the HMs just to explore in general. And, ooh, okay. Well, it is night. Level 21? That's shockingly low. Huh, you have a lucky egg, huh? That's weird. What the hell did you even use that for? Nah, 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 nah. Fuck you! Don't you dare stick your tongue out at me! Asshole. <coughs> Ugh, jeez. My last call felt like some little acid. Sorry about that. But, um... Oh, shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyway, here's Shovel the Puppet Pokemon. It loves something. Fuck. Well, good job, jackass. Do your due diligence and read that now. Thanks for wasting everybody's time with that shit. Dickhead. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make it so painful for everybody to have to now sit and wait for me to actually get to it. If I can remember where it is in the Pokedex. Wait, you think I memorized all the fucking Pokedex numbers? I'm not that dedicated to this series. I actually memorized all the numbers where everybody is. That would just be insane. There we are. Okay, so shop it. The puppet Pokemon. It loves vengeful emotions and hangs and rows under the eaves of houses where vengeful people live. There you go. It is a very vengeful bastard. Good for it. As me, I don't care for those that wish for vengeance. What the hell? This wiggle looks like he lost three grams on Route 13. I wish I could help it. Three grams? Oh. You mean weight? What's not that much? How light is that fucking thing? It is light enough. Oh, shit. My point of view, art is feeling and logic. And a beautiful battle is also feeling and logic. Damn it! I should have known you were going to do this to me, old man. Fuck you, you goddamn artist. You sound like you're in art. Ooh, boy! If I don't kill you the first move, this could get rough. Well, hi, Camera Up! I remember you and my Gen 3 team. You were always a nice, pleasant surprise, but... Otherwise... Yeah. I do not want to... So you chose Earth Power of all things. All the things you could have done to kill me with a Fire-type move. And you did Earth Power. Well, then again... Its ground type is always more prevalent than its fire type. Okay, now I remember what I was going to talk about. Yeah. 
All HMs think I'm glad they reduced how much you need to use them. I you not see your strength? It's all more for exploration, just in general to find other things. Artists can be divided into two types. Some draw they see, and some draw they can't see. I just prefer those that draw they can't see. They we kind of need to see what they can envision in their mind. Razor Claw! It what? Grab two. Oh! That's what these are for. Okay. I see. That's what you need. Oh, great! Can that be the grand one? Show the wiggle! There you go. So I had to give it to him. I thought it meant wait. Two more! Wiggle looks happy! God damn it. I had to go down there and friggin' hunt for all that? Fine. God damn it. Make me go out of my way to hunt down for fucking mail. Why don't you make me do this? You're making me waste my fucking time, all because you can't let your wiggle go fly on its own. What, is it really struggle to pick things off the ground? I guess it is more of a seagull, so I guess it'd be better handling water. Oh well. Prism scale! Good, now I can trade a fee master wall with my low tick. Not that I need to, because I already have my low tick. Ah, I love big. There we go, shortcut! Now I can go this way. Perfect. Oh, right. That's the light of the chasm. We're not ready for that yet. That's going to be one of the later things we do. But yeah, I'm so glad they started less of the whole HM thing. Then again, at least for Generation 7 through 9, they say the HMs are more just traversal items you can get. So you don't have to worry about wasting moves in your Pokemon's inventory on your Pokemon's move set to actually be able to travel places. That was like the best thing they ever did. No! Well, I don't mind serving around here because now I can have my own wing goal. Oh, 51 wing goal. Ooh. I guess I can evolve you if I give you a rare candy, but. I already planted all my rare candies for my main party. Depending on how many episodes we it takes for us to get to the end of this series, I might show us some quick leveling up tactics. Could be the last episode, kind of like how I showed a lot of the daycare breeding shit from Gen 4. We'll see. Oh, right, here's Wiggle, the Seagull Pokemon. It soars high in the sky, riding on updrafts like a glider. It carries food tucked in its bill. Can it even hold that much food, though? Well, it's a basic Seagull. It's not a Pelican, but you know, it's still capable enough of what it does. Hard scale again. Which, by the way, don't worry, there's a, there's a certain um, uh, trainer back on a. Uh, in Driftvale City, there's a person that if you talk to them, they'll ask you to, uh... Oh, shit, that was close. <laughs> there's a person that'll ask you to show up a certain move and you can keep getting hard scales on them. What am I doing? I'm hunting for treasure! Treasure hunting is fun! Sometimes things appear in the sand dunes. Actually, I just found something. Well, the same one as I found before, so I will give this to you. Woo! Oh, yeah, this guy! This treasure guy! Woof, woof. If you talk to this guy every day, he'll give you a random treasure. Related to items you can get in, like, Gen 3 and 4, like the Underground in Gen 4, and, uh, things you can buy using the the ash you can collect in that one area in Gen 3. I'm going to have a treasure here tomorrow, too. Every find something, so if you have time, stop by. So help me get some extra items. Very useful to have, if you really want it. And we teach some Pokemon the ultimate proves. I'll tell you their names. Crazy Fire Pokemon. Charizard, I've known some amazing inferno, but I more. This is Water Pokemon, Blastoise for Alligators, Rapper, Napoleon, and Zamorak. The Great Grass Knight Pokemon, Venus from Aguidium, sent down to Terra and Superior. Right, these moves. Right, for powers brought you here. Very well. Let me reward your past with some absolutely astounding moves. The ultimate moves! I'll teach you your Pokemon, which powers I teach. Well, guess a look at these. So I teach Blast Bird of Bacon. Kah! I mean, sure. You might have a Blast Bird! The target is raised by fire explosion. The user must rest the next turn, however. Basically, you've got water, fire, and grass type versions of hyper beam. So, yeah. Mildly useful, but not that useful, so. No, thank you. Oh, okay. Fuck you then. Why do you even talk to me? Don't take it through my trash! Damn it. I'll someone to find something that's trash. There you go. If you want to get those moves, you can get them. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. There's another thing up there. God, this place is huge. Oh, God, twins! I didn't think I was gonna run into twins. Well, make a nice matchup. My guy is the best. There's no chance we'll ever lose. Ah, damn it. I hate running into children. Twins, especially. They're the worst. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Great. Now they're together, they're both stronger. Guess what I was afraid of. 
Well, that's fine. Pretty sure I can handle them just fine, as long as I actually pay attention to my moves. But yeah, I do. I definitely appreciate the later Pokemon games. As much as people love the old ones, you gotta admit, having all the HMs take up the moves of the Pokemon in your party is just really stupid. Like, the fact that HM Slay need to be a thing is just so dumb. You can't use Last Resort unless you use all your other moves first! Why do they not know this? Dumb kids. But... No, I can't believe it! How come you're so strong? Our team's the best in the world ever! Why would you beat us? Um... You have all the electric types. I didn't use my ground! Well, our good friends, it will be filled with power! Millions go plus and minus with the best combination, right? That's a decent combo. Not the best combo. Bigger tips! Are using the experts here we press left, right, up, or down on the control pad, compared to the screen changes in varied ways. Oh, I guess there's something you can do. Not that I care to really dig into that, but thanks for the reminder, I guess. Alright then. Try to give you two your time to shine if I have another double battle. I really want you two to get stronger because you are my favorites. Well, actually, no, Vector is. You're not Dodo, but you exist. I gotta stop playing favorites, though. They're probably gonna start feeling very shamed like you play favorites all the time. They're very upset I am doing that. Well, maybe they should get better then, so I stop having to play favorites. Yes, an Electrolyzer! Ah! Right! Another Gen 4 item. If you have an Electabuzz, you trade it with the Electrolyzer on, it evolves into Electivire. A very good electric type. Same thing with the Magmarizer for. Oh, damn. Same on the Magmarizer for Magmar. It'll evolve into Magmortar. You get to see it in Gen 4, so, yeah. Just a nice reminder. Once again, more things that are just fucking trade items to make it really fucking annoying. Damn it. Haha, -ha. why would you even do that? You're stupid. You're stupid. Why would you ever do that move? <laughs> Take that. I mean, I'll catch you, sir. Uh oh, I think it does a pretty good thing. Defense and special defense rose. Oh, that's all it does. Okay. It just raised their actual defenses. Okay. Well, screw you. I will try and catch you. Hope it works out. It felt like it took a long time to calculate that one. Thanks. Thanks for that. If all you have is psychic, that would make me laugh so bad. I would laugh if that's the only move you had. <laughs> I mean, come on, it would be funny. It would be funny if that was his only move. Like, for real. You know, I could always use the Dust Ball. It is nighttime, I guess it would be a- Oh, you're not- never mind, we'll get But again, it might be better to save those for the Yellow Legendary I have to catch. The only one I'm absolutely certain I'm still able to catch. There might be another I don't actually remember. By the way, here's Lunatone, the Meteorite Pokémon. Because it turns active on nights on the full moon, it is said to have some link to the Lunar Faces. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Looks like he probably came from the moon. Just like Soul Rock came from the sun. That's stupid! Well, it might be. But can you disprove me? I don't think you can. So you have no right to tell me I'm wrong, because you can't disprove anything. Ah. Corn you, right where I want you. Alright, Swallow, you come too! I will capture all of you. I mean, I may as well add more to my library. Besides, the more Pokemon I have... Oh! The greater my chance of a critical capture is. You really have to do that? Well, fine. Now I'll do Brick Break. Fuck you. If you die to that, you don't deserve to be caught. Ow. Well, at least these wild Pokemon aren't that strong, thankfully. And I have a lot of money to burn, because I keep... I, in case you guys didn't notice, I might not have said it. I went back a while back to uh, sell a lot of my old uh, food and rock items. You are a dick. Ha ha, you can't throw a ball at me if you can't catch me! You would do that. Fine! Go again! Can't believe you're actually being difficult to catch, Swallow. I didn't think you were one that was actually a difficult capture. Now you're just being a dick. Fine! I hated you made me have to resort to this, but now I have no choice. Go Dust Ball! So this night time, this will still be very useful for me. Are you kidding me? 
It's a fucking swallow! It should not take this many attempts to capture! It's a fucking swallow! Look at the thing! It's a basic fucking bird! Just catch the fucking thing and let's move on! God damn it! For real, come on! Lucky son of a bitch made me waste four balls! Ugh! Well, here's a swallow Pokemon anyway. It circles the sky and starts to prey. When it spots one, it dives steeply to catch the prey. What, you thought you could catch an alligator? You're a very confident, confident bird if you thought you could do that. Hell, I'd call you absolutely insane. Because that's what you are. Insane! There's no way you're going to catch a fucking bird. Dang it, this definitely feels like a generation. Woo, psychic! Yes! Hang on a sec, hold that thought. Psychic! Can somebody learn this move? Please! Please tell me some Pokemon on my party can learn this move. Please! No! Damn it! Oh, that would have been so good! Ah, damn it! Again. The only thing weak to it is freaking fighting and. Um. Poison. And I can hurt them both because they got plenty of ground and freaking dark and. Um. Flying moves. So I guess I'm fine. Damn it! That would have been really nice to have. Oh, now you're a high level shuppet. I call the low level one. All it did now is just make it so I can't evolve you to bayonet as easily. Thanks, dickhead. <sighs> Either way. Oh, Tangela. Okay. But you learned a certain move. I think Stomp, maybe? Or it might be another one of those ancient power. You can evolve into a Pokemon as well. And it's nice to remember a lot of these evolutions. Especially for those of Pokemon that originally didn't have any. And again, they had to make them competitively viable again. Oh, you... Natural Gift. I think you need a certain bit of weather for that to be useful. I think it's another move that depending on the weather will do something. You know you have to damage the thing, right? Just testing you. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I'd cut through the Ultra Ball full health. That was a mistake. Now I can catch you, Al. Come on, Vector. You can hang on a little longer, can't you? Yeah, this is a game that definitely lessened all the HMs fully, which I'm so glad for. I mean, strength only had to be used to push the rock into a hole, and that's it, so you don't have to do stupid rock pushing puzzles everywhere. Serve is used to get around, you need it. They made it so freaking waterfall you don't really need for any of the main game at all. And the other thing is gift to you, but you don't really need to use any of them. It is helping you get to extra areas in other environments. And fly. I still love having fly. Quick travel is always good for an RPG, you know. Here's Tangle the Vine Pokemon! Blue vines surrounding its body are covered in, the, in a growth of fine hair. It is known to be ticklish. Oh, God. I hope it can't tickle itself. That just sounds like it'd be a problem. If I had hair that ended up tickling me, I would want to shave the whole fucking thing off. Just saying. Oh. I really don't want to have to battle these people if I can help it. Oh, crap. I have none of these prayers and walk into tall grass. Which is very helpful. Jesus Christ, this route is huge! I guess I should explore it a bit. But I wanted to get here first, though. Do you think of your bulge boards? The news about Pokemon Mass Outbreaks is hot now. Yep. One of the gamers says, We are please side please change daily. Do you believe it? Maybe the Shuppet was the one I could get on that route. What's that? Water sports are very popular in Undola Town. I bet they are. By the way, I finally made it to the town I wanted to get to. On Delatown! Go to the Pokemon Center so I can fly back here. It feels like this is the ultimate spot you want to get to in this place. Hello, boy, do you have a villa in Undella? You are rich! If I were to acquaintance, please accept this. Dude, I just walked over here. I just entered the town. You assume I'm rich? There's a prism scale. Beautiful. Maybe go to a Pokemon Holdings. I think it runs really special defense of Pokemon that holds it as well. Oh, luxury dive balls. Well, at least you have balls here. That's nice. Oh, right, I should probably heal my Pokemon. I'll say, if I walk into a certain building, I'm making a mistake. I gotta be careful about where I go. But, yep, we're finally at the town I wanted to be at, because I wanted to battle certain people. Oh, man. But yeah, 
I love they have generalized HMs, finally. Don't you, don't you love having to go through your party with HM slaves on you? Just to waste your moves. And you basically have Pokemon that are trained. You have to basically keep a Pokemon out just so you keep using the HMs. Oh, don't tell a town of rippling waves. Well, isn't that nice? You were made sometimes on a roost. Oh, I was confused. Oh, I was the is the movers, but real it's called resting. What's this? This bit of belongs to the riches. Oh, rich people, huh? Yeah, it's really important look at your face. Okay, oh, you have a very exciting Pokemon battle with me. Um, since you offered. Why the hell not? I got to kill, didn't I? Shit. Great. They have a lot of rich people here. The rich is Draco. Who just has a Bleasel. Wow. These riches, these are the guys I wanted to go up to. If you battle these guys every day, basically you can battle more of them as you battle them each day. So for all the next six episodes, you're going to try to battle all these guys get them out of my face. Now, I think once you battle all of them, you don't, can't battle anymore. But you're just someone ex. Are you weird against a busy friends like me? Because I know how to be busy. I like you. I see a very special thing, so follow me. Oh, I guess I had to do this first. Oh, dear. Well, okay. Isn't it great? Isn't it spacious? This is my dad's villa. I use it freely. But when I came here, surprised there was nothing to do. So now I'm bored. As me know, my dad is only obsessed with items in the ruins. I see. Hey, you're bored, aren't you? You're an hour, too. I don't mind having a battle with you. So, yeah. Every day, you keep battling more people here. What the hell, fighter? You can see I'm an ultra rich billionaire. As you can see my hobbies collect rare items. Now his outfit is over expensive and rare. You see it? Can you? You look like a fighter. Dude. So this billionaire wants to get his hands on even if it's more than spending a lot of money. You such a rare item? To you? Uh. You want a blue flute? A blue flute? But he's out of me for 7,000 Pokemon dollars, will you? Ah, so rare, unique items you can sell to him. I see. I have a very good item, don't you think so? Don't you think it's great, don't you? So, basically any... Oh, okay. Jared, you have some for dude, car. You don't have a rare item, do you? So, yep, one-of-a-kind items like that, you can basically get to hit for a shitload of money. Well, this is a great place to get cash. But, yep, as you battle these riches every day, you can battle more and more of them. Which is nice. Yay, yay, I'm Teletown! Jeez, you rich people really love it here, don't you? Uh... I really don't want to go explore these other houses yet. The sea, it's the source of life. The sea, it's a lot of water. For Jesus, move your boat you can dive into the sea. Oh, yeah, by the way, here's our last HM of the game. Dive. You know that on Della Bay area? Yeah. Breeze back. Inside a sense machine is dive. The darkest parts of the sea are called diving points. If you just dive there, you can dive all the way to the bottom of the sea. I'm curious to see if I can at least teach this to my frickin' um... What's his face? His name is Slippy. Nope. Alright, so my Lotic's getting that too! Water HM slave indeed. My Lotic can definitely dive. I had to fish it up. If I can't dive, I'd be very upset for even thinking that my Lotic was anything worth my time. Well, now I unlocked the richest house in frickin' Adela Town. I start doing that. Now you can start going after all these trainers. Just like I wanted to do. I should have healed first, though. Now I think about it. Oh, a lovely trainer. Would you like to meet the power that make me proud? No. I would not. <laughs> just say that and leave. I just love to go up to a trainer. Like, would you like to see this Pokemon that make me so happy? Nope. And just walk away. Like, I don't have the need for battle. I'm going to walk away. I also have to imagine these people be assholes enough to basically try to force me into a battle when I don't have Pokemon. I really do feel bad for the outcasts that don't have Pokemon with them at all. Then again, that was what Team Plasma was trying to do, turn everybody into that. That would have been a major dick move. A major dick move indeed. Yeah, but they did do that. Oh, Chimeco! Finally! I'm trying to remember, Chigling I think evolves into Chimeco from High Friendship at night? At least if I remember correctly. It's something like that. It's weird, Tybeco used to be a Pokemon on its own in Gen 3. Uh, shocking! Yeah, I bet it was. To know that I, I could kill you. Look at back when I had a preps and dance for Tyler, are always there for me! I bet they were. Well, we watched Peter and Cedar, that's an exciting Pokemon battle! Oh, yeah, sure. Oh my god, all these people do love to battle. I should know that by now! Everybody does this! 
And I'm encouraging if I continuously go up these people for battle as well. I am part of the problem. And again, I like being part of the problem. It gives me reasons to complain. <laughs> Everybody has a problem, and I will join society of having that problem. Hey, it's fun, right? Why well, I can play as long as it's fun. Ah, oh, far fetched. What a worthless bird. Oh god, Granbull. Okay. Hang on, you don't have a new title next generation. Time to be fine. No, my Moxie wore off. You suck. I was really happy with having Moxie too. You just had to ruin everything, you son of a bitch. And you decided to do Crunch. Hey, as long as I don't have Ice Fang, I'm cool with that. Damn it! You got way too cocky thinking that it would just frickin' <laughs> let you kill it. These traders do have full restores, don't forget. They actually care. Oh, wow, I nearly killed you with that. <laughs> really funny if I killed you with cut. Die to an HM move. The ultimate embarrassment. Unless it's Surf. That's not embarrassing. Surf is a good move to die to. And that's why I love Surf. I'm to our Pokemon battle. The only HM worth having is Surf. Always will be. Quiet sound of multiple waves, endlessly overlapping. It's like a first class orchestra. Doesn't it sound like that? It's a fucking bunch of waves, dude. It's the ocean. There's not much I would say is exciting about the ocean. It just is there. It's there. That's all that needs to be said. The ocean is there, and that's all it'll ever be. It'll just exist, and that's all it'll ever do. Why don't you tell me you like what's here? Stardust! No more rocks to sell off. I could do that if I really wanted. Now what? Well, I may as well collect a lot of stuff so I can keep selling it off. Oh my god, there's a lot here. Well, tell me a good reason to explore this part, because there's a lot to freaking sell off. Ah, shit! I had a feeling we were going to do that. I will keep walking on the sandy beach! How about that? Sounds very great, doesn't it? Eh. You don't mind ruining your fucking feet. But yeah, I hope people aren't looking for HMs to come back. Then again, if they handled them like I heard they handled them in the, uh, Generation 4 remake. Uh-oh. I think I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Condom? You're the one I can trust to handle this. If it has a rock move, I'm in trouble if I send out Dodo. So do my work for- Ah! Help! That one have also killed freaking Vector! Ow! I honestly just hope you're fast enough to deal with it. You're not! Okay, I killed you for no reason. <laughs> you were fodder! Well, now I really feel like a dick. I'm sorry. Well, at least its defenses are cut in half now, so I should be able to kill it with one fly, no problem. Unless, of course, it has sturdy. Then I'm in trouble. Haha! -ha! You don't have a rock move, you only have close combat. I'm so used to fight the Elite Four version, and I'm just expecting you to have a rock move. You don't have sturdy either! Oh man, now I just feel stupid, thinking you were actually a threat. Oh god. I may as well just keep you fighting. Oh, please let me be faster. Yes! You wasted a jerk, good! I'll use high jump kick and miss. That'd be my favorite thing. Oh, what?! Fuck! Well, that's gonna hurt. A lot. Ow. Now my speed is cut in half, too. Hey, I'm so fast with Hitmonlee! I thought Hitmonlee was fast! I guess not. Well, either way, the defense is lower, so I might be able to kill you. Yeah! I did enough! Oh, thank God. I had more fun just walking on the beach. Then just do it! You don't have to fight people on it, man! I'm walking on the dirty beach because I love footprints. Oh. Uh, that's your obsession. I mean, sure. Whatever makes you happy, bro. Sure. Wait, who is already level 64? Yeah. Okay. In that case, I'll keep letting Vector fight. Why not? Oh, uh, there are a lot of fishermen. I should probably let you do the fighting next time. So I will do that. I gotta make sure tomorrow when I come back that we actually... Oh, shit. Quiet. That we actually come back so I can battle the riches. That's gonna be my purpose the next six episodes. My primary goal. Battle all of them and get them out of my way. I need that experience and, well, I just like battling people. Besides, if I get all that money from those rich fucks, 
It'll make me feel so much better. I love to rob the rich. I'll become Robin Hood all for myself. Just steal all the rich people's money and keep it. Wow. The evil Robin Hood. Steals all the money from rich people and never gives it back to anybody. Gee. It's like being the CEO of a company and stealing all the well, hard-earned money from your freaking hard-working lower-level employees. All right. Don't make it real, please. Come on, this episode here. Either way, come back next time. And we're going to battle the riches more in this tower because... Basically, every day, you can battle the one you battled before, and a new one will show up. And then the next day, you can battle the previous ones you battled, and another one shows up. Once you battle all of them, you're done. So, the next six episodes are going to be dealing with that. Let's go back next time. The battle against the riches is on! See how bad they feel they lose to a poverty-stricken fool like me.